All right, we have episode two. Uh, I've changed the series name to the Guardian Gauntlet. Uh, the first episode, I still call it the Iron Man because I didn't come up with a name yet. But last episode, we won with Ares. So now we go on to Ardeo. And if we win this one, we'll go to the right. That's how this series will work, okay, for people that don't know. Is that every time I win with the Guardian, I go to the right. Whenever I lose, I go to the left. And we win the entire thing when we get to Ymir. Another day, another demon. And since we're doing it with Guardians, I do have a handicap where I get, uh, I get best of three to win. So if I win two out of three games, or if I just win one, I, I can advance. But if I lose two games, then I demo. So I get one extra chance, basically. Just because, you know, Guardians are pretty annoying. And it's very important that we win this. You know, I had a feeling I'd go up against AMC, but I still banned Hades. I'd rather fight AMC. We need to win this because if we lose this and lose another game, I have to play Ares again. And we got very lucky with the Ares win, if I'm being quite honest. So I would like to get a little bit more buffer room before we go back to Ares. So I would rather fight AMC than Hades. That is true. We're starting Specialist Blessing because it gives 20 MP5, more MP5 than we'll ever need, uh, and 10% cooldown reduction. The reason this is better than Mage's Blessing is that Mage's Blessing doesn't give you the cooldown right away, and it gives less MP5 on average. The amount of damage Mage's Blessing gives is pretty much overrun by Specialist Blessing by the fact that I can use more abilities without running out of mana or just getting my abilities up faster. Now we could go Bracer, but once he gets anti-heal, that'll kind of screw us over. So I probably could go Sprint, Shell, or Blink. Shell seems safer here. Two points in three, one point in the one. Uh, most of Ardeo's damage comes from her three in Druid stance into the dash and bear stance. Ardeo's damage is you kind of engage, use all your abilities and use your dash through them to get out. And that way you almost always outpoke them. However, we're not going to do that right now because we need to kill the minion wave. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this series. It it seems really f a really fun idea, and it keeps me uploading consistent content because then I actually know what god to play. Before, let's say I recorded a bad gameplay with like Geb or something, right? I wouldn't want to upload it because it'd be like, well, this is going to be the last Geb game I'll upload for a long time. With this series, I'm guaranteed at least one good game with every Guardian because if it's a bad game, then I just go to the left of the go of the gods and I'm going to replay that god later on. So it's not like it'll be bad forever. Oh, holy moly, this is damage. Oh, is he just focusing me? Alright. Kind of unfortunate, but you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I want to kill this hive. But that might be a bad idea. Okay. Now we back. Can't really contest him yet. He's gonna have the early game. Oh, he went Mace Star. Okay. Yeah, uh, Attacker's Mace gives a lot more damage than any other start. Uh, he won't be able to take my blue buff at least. Better to just back and lose some XP and gold than get first blooded. Something I've been learning over time. Because even if I fall behind in gold, he doesn't have the first blood bonus yet. However... <laughs> If he ends up getting the first blood anyways, then it'll be worse because then I'm behind XP gold. Then he gets first blood and it's just a big snowball. Putting points in RDO's one is not a bad idea either. I think it's mainly your preference of playstyle. I used to put my points into one, but now I put points into three. Okay, nice. Should be noted, noted RDO's one in Root Stance only heals if you're... Oh shoot, that is so much damage! I'm dead. Oh, I was not expecting that. Uh, some people ask me sometimes how Ardeo's heal works on her one. It only heals her if she hits an enemy god. It's kind of funny because if you compare this ability to Baron's 2, it is worse in every single possible way. It does less damage, less heal, it's shorter ranged. Uh, it's harder to hit because of the range. It doesn't give slow immunity, doesn't give movement speed doesn't it's not a percent health heal it's actually kind of crazy when you do that i mean obviously yeah Ardeo is a stance switcher so she has two abilities but that's because she loses out on her ultimate 
That doesn't mean her ability should be worse. Oh, shoot, we got that back fast. Alright, we need to run. He's probably. He got Brawler's first item. Okay. Yeah, there was no way I'm getting out of that. That slow is intense. So he rushed Brawler's first item? I don't know if I can finish my Bancrofts now. Yikes, that's actually really scary. Really unfortunate for me, too. That gives so much power. It's not like AMC really needs... AMC can go whatever start he wants, honestly. AMC could go full defense, and that's actually the optimal way to build him. And he'll still do all of your health. I would still prefer to fight him over Hades, though. Uh, just because of Hades' control. And the silence and fear and all that is a little bit too intense. This AMC's good. That's not, that's not saying too much for an AMC, you know? If you know AMC's kit, you're technically a good AMC, right? I'm gonna lose my tower there. If I go into the side to defend it, I'm gonna die. Vampires and lichens me. I'm getting really far behind at this point, which is unfortunate. Uh, we can come back with Spear of the Mages, but you know, that's gonna be a while. That's half my health just from how many autos? Four autos? Yeah, four auto attacks. Okay. Okay. Four auto attacks to all my health. This guy's crazy, man. That brawler is just countering me harder than I thought it would. I still need to finish my Bancrofts just for the power, but now it's not going to be as helpful because I'm not going to get as much life still out of it. I'm about 2,000 gold behind already. Yikes. Also, I don't know whether, like, let's say I lose, right? Do I do the other games in the same video, or do I do it multiple videos? That's what I don't know. Because then that would spoil the last game, that it's a win, pretty much. Unless I get demoted, I guess. Or not demoted, but I have to go down. He's just standing still, because he's confident. Conf overconfidence is the fastest way to lose. Quote me on that. He's just standing still, because he thinks this game's over. But that's how we come back. People don't take it seriously. And then, oh, you know, it's it really is the fastest way to lose. Overconfidence. Let's go take our blue buff. That return kill gave us a lot of gold. 695 gold, pretty much 700. Okay, let's go back. We went speedy boots. All right, well, then that means I have to go speedy boots, too. Fight back the darkness. Oh, I really want that Bancroft, but I can't afford it yet. Is he going Winged Blade? Or, no, that's going to be Toxic Blade. Thank God I didn't go Bracer. Imagine if I went Bracer. I was thinking about going Bracer for the early game. But he went Brawler's Beat Stick first item. Okay, now we can get uh, Bancroft's. We're mainly just building it for the power at this point. We'll probably sell it late game. We just need a power spike to kind of outbox him. He's probably going for Bull Demon. No use in putting points in the alt. Like, it gives me MP5 and speed, but I need damage more way more importantly. Okay, we're killing a lot of hives. That's good. Oh, he wasn't going for building. That's good. That slow just kind of cuts the map in half, you know? Really just cuts the map in half. Okay, so he did go Wing Blade. I'm actually really happy he went Wing Blade instead of Toxic Blade. There's that ultimate. Let's just get out of range so he can't pick it up. I just have to get in range of my three here. We should be able to kill him. Oh, no, but he activated his wing blade. That's a good counter. I can't hit all the ticks on my one if he has wing blade. But now his wing blade's down, you see. Oh, his wing blade's back up again. How does that happen? How do you get it up so fast? Maybe he didn't have it up the first time? 
Either way, it just kind of sucks. We do need to get Divine Ruin. Oh, he's so fast! He is so fast, I can't even get near him. Alright. We got it back. I can't even... I can't even, like, hit him. If I stayed, his ult was, ultimate was about to come up. Alright, we're gonna need some movement speed items. Like, I... Shaman's Ring? Shaman's Ring might be good. Let's go Shaman's Ring. We could also go... No, Gem Viso won't work, because he has, uh... He's Wing Blade. Oh my god. This guy... This guy... I, if I use my three, he's gonna speed up, so I can only use it if I'm right next to him. No, it's not, I'm not gonna get him. This guy's movement speed is something else. I don't like fighting gods like this. Uh, people that just go clear the wave and then run away. I mean, it's the best thing for him to do, so... Can't really judge him for that, but still. That wing blade was a really good item for him. We have movement speed from special blessing. You don't get special blessing because of the movement speed, but it is nice, especially in this situation, because it's pretty much letting me catch up to him now. Is he going Bumba's mask? Oh my god, dude! If he's going Bumba's mask, we we can't really go movement speed to catch up with him. We gotta go the one shot build. <laughs> this guy's going Bumba's mask. Look, I would love to go Bumba's Mask against AMC, but he will out-damage me any day. So we do have to go Blink. We'll just go Blink one-shot build, pretty much. Time to rid you of that magic. Be gone. Why he's still out-damaging me with that build? What is this? Be gone. Time to rid you of that magic. Oh my god, he messed up. He messed up! Very nice. He got sprint too? Are you serious? Thank god he messed up and missed. He got sprint. What is this build? It's You know what's annoying is that this build actually is working for him. Because AMC stats are so bloated with his hive. Oh my lord. I actually can't stay because he'll, he'll catch up to me with his movement speed. Uh, maybe it's time to start leveling the ultimate for the movement speed. It's not much movement speed, but it adds up. Okay, he did get Bomba's Mask. Maybe we should go Nemean, actually. Nemean plus Blink. Yes, Thorns would be nice here, but not against his build. Okay, we need Spear of the Magus. Uh, do we need Spear? I mean, we'd do be doing tons of damage to him, but he has so little protections. Maybe I should just go straight for Shamans instead. I already have a tier 1 item, but, you know. Look how fast he is. He's faster than my 3. What is this AMC build, man? It's like working, but not. Look at that movement speed. Holy moly, he's faster than me. That is so dumb. That is actually the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But not when you're rooted, it's over. If he was going damage, his ultimate would be one shot of me right now. His build is annoying, but it's actually actually allowing me to come back, which is nice. His build is really annoying. He's faster than my than my bear stance dash. So it's all about running away from him and then as he's running towards me, quickly turning around so he closes distance for me. Wow, and he's already alive again. Wow, I can't even take this tower. He just comes back so fast. Alright, yeah, let's get that shaman's ring. Start working on them. We should get it earlier since he's not getting defense. Just so we can get the uh, the stacks for shamans. You almost stole that with bees. Almost. 
the new man's gonna be hurting him because he takes more damage. Uh, so the he's gonna be taking more damage from the, the man, which is pretty nice. Look how fast he is. Look at how fast he is. You are quite the runner, my friend. We still need anti heal too, so if he doesn't get any defense, I'll get uh, divine run. I have uh, penetration my kit as well, my passive. There we go. I had my shell just in case. This time I actually kept the wave alive because I was typing him so hard. Hey, we might get be able to win this. If he had defense, this would be a lot more difficult. Minions are actually getting so strong that I can't kill the archers as easily as I was earlier. Uh, cause this game's- I can't even take his blue buff, that's how fast he is. If I start taking it, he'll stop me. And he'll be able to outspeed me. Alright, there we go. Shaman's ring, so now he'll be taking 20% additional damage. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could go Rangda's and he'll be taking 40% additional damage. And his Bumpa's mask will make it so Rangda's doesn't hurt me as much. Technically. I'd rather go Rob Foodie, probably, though. Alright, looks like this guy's just gonna sit in his tower now that he realizes he's losing. So, all we have to do is keep buff control. If we keep buff control, he can't effectively uh, win. Unfortunately, I missed a tick of that. So, I didn't get as much damage as I could have. Wow. He wants me to chase him. I'm not going to chase him because his red buff is up. Oh, now I'll chase you. Because you just got looted, my friend. <laughs> Look at how fast this guy is. Oh my god, I'm tempted to get Bumba's mask, but I'm not going to. We need Polynomicon. A blink kill is how, what's going to win us this game. He's going to be running away, and we're just going to blink on him and kill him. Just to close that distance, you know. Did you really brace for that? Did you actually brace for that? Alright, we should run here. I still have shell. As long as I keep these hives down. That was really risky in case he had anything up, but I'm glad I did it. He is so incredibly fast, he's getting Toxic Blade. Are you serious? What is this build? Like, in his mind, he might be trolling, but this build's actually, in a way, working for him because of how hard it is to keep up with him. The only reason I'm able to kill him is because he screws up his positioning and he gets a little bit too close. If he was able to keep that perfect positioning with that build, I would never be able to kill him. I would only be able to kill him with my blink, and even then I might die. Like, it's hard to blink against AMC because of the bees. Now that we got Phoenix, though, uh, it doesn't matter if he runs away, because then we'll just go on his Titan. Which is always very good. Oh, you're here? Okay. Got him, oh my god. Well, I guess we didn't even have to back and finish our items. This game was looking really, really bad, and then he went full move speed, which, again, I mean, it can work on AMC. You can make any build work on AMC, but if you're going to go full move speed, you need to worry about your positioning better.
It was kind of a troll build, but at the same time, AMC, you know. Full move of speed. I mean, I've seen it work. If you position yourself so your opponent can just never get near you, especially when they're a guardian, it can work. GG, though. Really glad we were able to turn out a win with that one. So that means next game we're playing who's after RDO. Uh, Ares, RDO. I have to check. I have to check. I don't have these, these cuts memorized. Uh, Athena. Okay, good. So I'm confident we probably won't have to play Ares again unless I lose with Athena and RDO, which I don't think will happen. Uh, once we win with Athena, Bacchus Kabrakin. That's going to take a while for us to pass, okay? But GG, very good game. Uh, would would have been very difficult if they went defense. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below how what you think of the series so far.